Texas social workers are now allowed to refuse to provide services based on a client's sexual orientation, gender identity, or disability. That's after the Texas Board of Social Worker Examiners voted unanimously last week to remove those protections from its code of conduct. State Bureau reporter Maggie Glenn reports on the fallout. We had another young, young guy come to us in a foster situation and then he just melded with our family and we decided to adopt him. Sue Torres and her wife Kelly adopted Larry when he was 15. They've also fostered two other children with the help of social workers. When they heard the new guidelines for those workers, they were concerned. There's so many um, adolescent kids that are in the foster system that hopefully this new rule won't, you know, put a roadblock to some of those kids getting adopted. Adoption is just one service affected. Multiple sectors, including mental health providers, employ social workers. It could impact child welfare. It could impact medical care. It could impact um, psychiatric care schools, where there are many school social workers, um, all sorts of community organizations. The list really goes on. The National Association of Social Workers calls the change an outrage. The reality is this sends the message that it's okay to discriminate. And that in and of itself may cause someone not to go for services. They could be afraid of that rejection. The governor's office recommended dropping the specific language protecting certain classes of people from discrimination to align with existing statute. But the national group says that's just a bare minimum and the state board should do better. The statutes are there simply to provide a foundation that you build that house of rules upon. Joining us now for Insight is State Bureau reporter Maggie Glenn. Maggie, what role did the governor's office have on this decision? Well, Josh, first of all, thanks for having me. Um, a law passed last year is actually giving the governor a little bit more say when it comes to state licensed professions. So um, his office says that this is kind of part of a, a larger effort to make uh, you know, licensed positions across the state more uniform overall. Um, so that's kind of his office's explanation. And also, I did want to mention that a board member during that meeting where they voted on Monday mentioned that they did also kind of ask for an unofficial opinion from the attorney general's office as well to get their take on whether they should change the code. And the attorney general kind of agreed um, that they should change the code of conduct to kind of match the statute more closely. But again, the social workers um, that I spoke with the other day and, you know, these advocacy groups across the state are just saying that the statute itself should be the absolute bare minimum and that the code of conduct is a way for these professions to kind of define their ethical, you know, um, their ethical rules and what the what the standard should be for each profession. What are the main concerns with this change? Well, um, you know, when you hear social workers, a, a lot of people, the first thing that comes to mind is adoption and the foster care system in general, but um, that was kind of already an issue to begin with. So, um, you know, the state already has a law that does allow religious organizations to deny adoptions um, to same-sex couples. So while it is a concern that it could open the door for more discrimination with adoptions in the foster care system, um, the main concern is actually for people seeking mental health help, um, going to social workers for that kind of help and being denied because, again, they either identify with the LGBTQ plus community um, or they have a disability. So that's kind of the new, the big concern there. All right. We know that you'll be following up with this. Thank you very much, Maggie. Thanks. The push to approve President Trump's Supreme Court nominee before Election Day has support from the two Texans in the U.S. Senate. The Senate will confirm Judge Barrett as Justice Barrett. I believe we'll do so by the end of the month. But is that what voters want? We'll look at a poll that shows where Texans stand. 